We are now joined by Dorchester Paws, and we are here talking with Callie Knight. Uh, let, let's first talk about this little girl, Phyllis. Phyllis. She's, she's an explorer. She's been kind of peeking around in, in all the doorways. So if people are looking for a little explorer, this is the girl for that. This is the one, yeah. Phyllis is definitely, she wants to get out there and just kind of find her own adventure kind of thing. But she's, um, <laughs> she's about three years old, we're figuring. She's a uh, really, really sweet dog. Kind of skittish right now. But with that hound mix, they kind of always kind of start like that. And it just takes them a little while to kind of warm up. But uh, she's been great with all my dogs. She's a great oh. car rider. And she's really, really chill inside. She has a little bit of separation anxiety. She's a little whiner. But... Uh, but she's really, really super dog. She's great. Is she good with other dogs, kids, anything that people need to look out for? Oh, yeah. Great with other dogs and kids. So she's perfect. Yeah. Oh, perfect. She's, even, uh, she's probably even pretty good with cats, too. She just doesn't, kind of just hangs out, you know? So that's <laughs> one thing I like about the hound breed is they always, they're really, really good to get as far as a family dog that's like a perfect kind of fit. So Perfect. And you said she's three years old. She's ready to go, ready for adoption. Ready to go. She's already been spayed. She has all her up-to-date shots. And we have a great special kind of going on with uh, all of our adoptions, our $30 for anybody that's six months and over, and all our kittens are half off. And it's called the Bow Wow Meow Adoption Luau. And so. So, do you have to remember that if you go in I there? Know, this is my third or fourth time I've ever seen that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about the big event you guys have coming up at the end of the month. It's the last weekend in June. Right. Rock the Rescue. Rock the Rescue. This is our third year doing it, and it is a huge event. It started out with just 40 bands and about seven or eight venues, and now it's grown to 100 bands and over 15 venues in three days, and it goes throughout the whole entire city, all the way from Somerville down to Charleston. Um, everything you can think of as far as music goes. If you're a music lover, it's got all genres as far as singers, songwriters, country music, hard rock, punk, metal, whatever you want. It's there for you to see. And we have a big event, like this Sunday is our finale at the Hanahan -Han Amphitheater. You can bring your dog out there. You can bring your kids out there. We have music, food trucks, a vendor fair, maybe some axe throwing and jump castles and things like that. So. Well, you just got everybody, yeah. everybody excited for this event. <laughs> tickets are still available? Right. You can go to our website, dorchesterpaws.org, and you can get tickets right there. And you can get a VIP pass that gets you into all three days, any venue you want. You just bounce around and you show your badge and they'll let you in. Wow. Yep. That sounds like a lot. Anything else you want to add before we... We head out here. We are looking for tons of fosters. This is also like our puppy and kitten season. So if you're interested in fostering, you can just come by our, our shelter, which is at 1364 Paws Lane, and you can go pick up our kittens or cat. You can take a, a, a foster animal for just like a day if you want to. Um, and we'll set you up with whatever thing you need as far as food, medicine, bowls, all that stuff. So we're over capacity, and we just need your help as far as community come get them. One more time, where can people find more information? So you can go to 1364 Paws Lane or dorchesterpaws.org. Perfect. And this is Phyllis. As a reminder, she is up for adoption. We'll have all that information up on our website, countonto.com. Next on News.